balls and nets and stuff. And what happens is, oh my. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, I want to show you something real quick. A lot of guys are asking me about my dino trap right here. And I want to show you, that's the dino trap. If you hadn't seen it, all it is is basically it catches a lot of flying insects. Does not need bait, does not um, need anything to, to kind of draw them in. The only thing that draws them in is that light right there. So that light draws them in. And if you can see over in there, they get sucked down into that fan and deposit it down in here. And the fan is keeping these lips down, but once I cut the fan off, they're closed. So they don't escape. This is not supposed to kill butterflies and honeybees and I think ladybugs right there. But some guys are asking me, how well does it work? I want to show you. I'm about to take this down. And guys, before I generally do it, I generally get some flying insect bug spray and I, I spray just a taste over the top of it so it'll kind of suck it down in there. That way, if I got any live insects in there, they'll die on off before I actually cut it off. All right, so now I got it sprayed. That shit has knocked them out. There's a little off button right in here. Just push that. You see the light go off? And I, you, this is simply just twist off. Nothing big. Now, that's how it looks up on the bottom. You can see, guys, pretty nasty. Got some bugs still kind of caught up in there. It comes with a little brush, so you can brush those away. But um, let me show you the container real quick. So guys, every now and then it catches a ladybug. Look at one right there. But I want to take this lid off. And look how nasty that is, guys. Look at that. And this is, I think I hadn't changed this in about, uh, I want to say about four months. All right, I still got a few of them in there kind of trying to get around. I'm gonna hit it with some more spray real quick. But look down in there. You tell me if it worked. All right, I'm gonna pull them out so you really can see it. All right, guys, when you change this, make sure you got some gloves on, but look at this. Look at that. All right, and look at the lid. All right, I'm gonna show you how to clean this too, guys. And the purpose behind the dino trap is basically just to catch mosquitoes and all these moths and gnats and stuff. And what happens is, oh my, shit. Oh. What happens is over time, when they get caught down in here, they will dehydrate because they don't have a food, food source and they'll die off. The advantages of it is, is the way it works is this, guys. All right, so when it catches, catches them, the egg laying mosquitoes and, and other insects that carry the eggs won't have an opportunity to lay those eggs in your lawn, all right? So by them not laying in that lawn, laying them in your lawn, the mosquito population decreases. Um, the army worm population decreases because it catches the moths. Crane fly um, population decreases because, it's, because it catches the crane flies. This is not a, a mechanism that's just going to, you put it in the yard and everything is going to fly to it. The light draws them in later at night and they get sucked down in there and that's how that works. All right, here's the little brush that comes with it. I keep the same bag, just keep it close by. And I'm gonna take you over here and let you see me clean the bottom of it as best I can with one hand. So I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate it, but I'm a, I need a second hand, but you'll hold that and you'll just brush all those extra dead bugs that didn't get all the way through. You just brush them out of there and you'll get that part real clean right there. And you can look on the top just to make sure you don't have none up in there. Clean that off also, guys. Spray it off, well, spray a rag and wipe it off real good. And um, that's how that works right there. All right, and let me let me show you the other one. All right, guys, and once you, you get it like that, what they want you to do is to put this in a bag like this or a Ziploc bag, tie it up, throw it away. Don't go pour this in a trash can um guys this is not fishing bait i, I know it, it may look like it but don't go put it use fishing bait it's all dehydrated don't cheat and go throw them all out on the lake and, and all the fish warm over there but you take it and you put it in a bag like this let me show you
all right once we got that bagged up guys and this I'm, I'm gonna blow this table off guys but simply just take it and you see this right here oh my god should have did this before this is filthy and guys those mosquitoes carry west nile and all that stuff so you want to kind of eliminate as many flying insects as you can from your property uh, it'll just help you out for enjoying your lawn this is nasty and this right here oh, yeah oh my god you just take your little brush and you can kind of sweep the inside to a little pile all right and then you put those in the bag also All right, so once I got that clean out, guys, normally what I do, get my quick quick connect. Hook that up. Turn that water on. Spray them off real good. Do that up. All right, guys, and once I got it sprayed off real good, I just take it. Drop it down in my bucket right here. Just dish detergent, that's all. Get whatever rag or washcloth or even paper towels. And just kind of wipe it off real good. It shouldn't take that long. You wanna make sure you, you keep this thing clean because you don't want these pores to clog up with dead bug juice. <laughs> and, um, you start working that fan to death try to um, get those bugs down in there and like I said you can clean it as good as you want to you know who lives in a pineapple up under the sea spongebob square pants all right I think that's good enough once you got that done guys go ahead and skeet it off again clean it off real good all right guys then you take this right here and just click it back in here make sure that the flaps are down like that and I'm going to show you, if you look real closely, you see that notch right there? Then there's notches right there. It's four of them. All right, you just make sure you line them up. Snap it down. That's it. All right, guys, once you let it air dry, just simply screw click it back in. Turn the power back on. And that's it. All right, guys, hopefully that update, you know, let you know that it really does work. I done had it for about, oh, I want to say about three seasons so far, and I done caught, I think it has a bug count on it. I caught, I think, 36,532 bugs. Does not have a bug count on it, guys. That's just a joke. Guys, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with the, on the Dino Trap, guys. That's the one fourth acre right there. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYDs. Michael Bowman, I'll talk to you soon.